everybody, let's talk about hemp. First, let me tell you, in my life I have avoided anything that has to do with cannabis. I was not interested in learning about it, I was not interested in consuming it and this was because of the stigma around the plant. On top of that, I was just never interested in getting high or anything like this. So yeah, I was just not interested in this plant. Lately though, I have been seeing this popularity around CBD products. And CBD is a compound that comes in the cannabis plant. It is claimed to have a positive effect on our health. And you know what, as someone that really likes to know the why of things and that is very interested in plants, I really wanted to know why all the hype around CBD and cannabis. So I did my research and this is what I found and my experience. First, let's talk about the plant. The Latin name for the cannabis plant is Cannabis sativa and this plant belongs to the Cannabisae family. Some other plants that belong to this family are for example the Humulus or hop plant. This one is used for making beer and the Celtis plant or the Hackberry plant. A very interesting fact is that hackberries are actually edible and they're super common in Czech Republic, Slovakia and Serbia. As you may know, my husband is from Czech Republic so when we go to visit, I'm gonna try to find the plant and show you the berry. Apparently they're super popular there so I'll have to ask Jan about it. <laughs> but now let's get back to the cannabis sativa. The most common subspecies of the cannabis sativa are the cannabis sativa indica, the cannabis sativa sativa and the cannabis sativa ruderalis. But I can tell you there are many varieties, hundreds of them grown around the world and this one of these varieties has a different ratio of compounds that are called phytocannabinoids, terpenoids and flavonoids. For the purpose of this video and to get to CBD, we're gonna talk about the phytocannabinoids. I know this is sounding super scientific, but I can tell you it's gonna get really interesting, so stay with me. The most commonly known phytocannabinoids are THC and CBD. As you may know, THC is the phytocannabinoid from the cannabis that makes us high. I can tell you I have never tried it, but this is the one that makes you high. Then we have CBD, and this one does not have the psychoactive effects of THC, but some somehow it brings benefits to our body. So when I was doing my research, I thought to myself, but why? How does this compound help our body? And I can tell you during my research, I found that there is so much research yet to be done. But there are some findings that are really interesting. And what I read about the cannabis plant and how it connects to our bodies, which I'm gonna get in a second, was a beautiful representation of how connected we are with this planet. So let me tell you what I found. Okay you guys, this is where it gets really interesting. Doing my research, I found a system within our bodies that was actually discovered just in the 1980s. This system is called the endocannabinoid system. The endocannabinoid system consists of neurotransmitters as well as receptors and enzymes. So it basically works as the lock and a key. So we have a receptor and then the key, which is the endocannabinoid, opens that lock. And the purpose of this system is really beautiful. This system is responsible of maintaining balance in our body. When I was learning about it, I found a very good analogy. So we can think about the endocannabinoid system as the lights in the traffic. So you have the cars going in the street, but we always have the lights and rules to follow. But if one light goes out, we're gonna start getting traffic jams, the traffic won't work efficiently, and we will be more prone to have accidents. So yes, the endocannabinoid system is just like the lights in the traffic setting up the rules so we have balance. We can find the endocannabinoid system in our body as well as in our brain. And it is really interesting because this system reacts to environmental factors around us and within us. So for example, if we have stress either caused by pain or emotional stress, the endocannabinoid system will react to this so our body gets the signal that we need to distress. Another very interesting place where the endocannabinoid system is working is our brains. And it was so interesting to read that the endocannabinoid system helps our brain with memory retention as well as with the prevention of harmful traumatic memory. So yes, it's a really amazing system. Now, I can tell you I haven't learned about the system until I started to look into cannabis and the effects that it has on our body. And then I learned that I'm 
are not the only one. And this is because of two reasons. The first one is because the endocannabinoid system was only discovered in the 1980s. So it's a fairly new discovery. And the second one is because of the stigma around the cannabis plant. Which takes me back to the cannabis plant. How does it relate to the system? Well, the phytocannabinoids in the cannabis plant, such as THC or CBD, fit almost perfectly in the receptors of our endocannabinoid system. Now, I have to tell you, the endocannabinoid system is there without you using any cannabis. It exists there even before we are born, which makes it even more beautiful. It's a system that we have in our bodies, but the receptors in this system, just like they receive endocannabinoids produced by us, they can also receive phytocannabinoids that come from the cannabis plant and they also come from other plants. So. If used properly, the cannabis plant can support your endocannabinoid system to maintain and promote balance in your body, which I think is pretty amazing. So as I said, there is a lot of research yet to be done, but at least this part I find really beautiful. So I thought that I could try it and see what was my experience with it. So let me tell you what happened. I have been taking CBD for one month. And since this was the first time that I was trying a phytocannabinoid and my first experience with cannabis, I decided to go for a small dosage just to see if I saw any difference. And I decided to try with this one right here. This one is called Nordic oil and it's a 5% CBD oil. So it contains 5% of CBD. Now, I really like the Nordic oil company because first they actually grew their hemp here in Europe. And also because when I was learning about CBD, as I said in the beginning, this industry is going really fast. And I can tell you that it's not totally regulated. So there are many companies that are gonna tell you that they're giving you CBD, but maybe they don't have CBD in the products. So they're wrongly labeled. They may also have some amount of THC, that you may not want to try. So if you only wanna try CBD and you're someone like me that only wanna try this one, this may be a problem. But when I was doing my research, I found something that is called the Certificate of Analysis or COA. And this is basically a certified document that tells us the specific amount of compounds from cannabis in your CBD oil. So when I was researching this company to see if I wanted to try their drops, I saw that they not only have a COA in their website, so you can see here the amount of CBD in the oil and also other compounds such as THC and all of these ones here, but also they have a lot of information there. So you can see what exactly is a certificate of analysis as well as lots of information about their product, which made me more comfortable to try it. So if you decide to try any CBD oil, I recommend that you always go and find the certificate of analysis for the company. That way you know exactly what you're consuming. So anyways, I decided to try CBD from the Nordic oil company and the amount that I took was five drops in the morning, five drops over lunch, and five drops at dinner. So according to them, one drop contains two milligrams of CBD. That means that I was taking 30 milligrams of CBD per day. And I can tell you the first week I didn't feel anything different. And I thought, okay, maybe the dose is too small, I don't know. But I was like, let me just continue trying and see. So the second week I started to see some differences. First, I had my PMS during the second week. And I can tell you, when I get my PMS, I get really big migraines the first two days. This is a must. Every time that I get my PMS, the first two days I get very big migraines. But this time, I didn't. I actually got only one headache and then it was, it was gone really quickly. So that was the first difference that I noted when I started with this, uh, with this oil. The second thing that I started noticing by the second week is that the day started to feel longer. Now, I don't know about you, but in lockdown, I started to feel that the days were really fast and really repetitive. So I always felt kind of anxious. I felt that the day was going really fast and I was not getting enough done. And for a long time during lockdown, I felt like this. I know that in the videos, I seem really happy. And yes, I love recording these videos, but if you ask Jan, yeah, there were so many days that I, feel, that I was feeling anxious, I was feeling that the days were really short and I was just not getting enough done. I felt like that and yeah, that gave me a little bit of anxiety and it just made me nervous. It was just not a pleasant feeling. So when I started feeling the days longer, that's when I really saw a difference. And this was not like feeling the days long in the sense that they were boring or something or like too slow. It was more about really enjoying the moment. Like 
it was three o'clock and I wasn't feeling, oh my God, the day is almost over like before. Now I was, okay, it's three, it's three o'clock, I still have some hours, I can work on some things and also take care of myself. So it was a nice feeling to be honest. And the third thing that I noticed, I can tell you is really close to my heart and to be honest, is the whole reason why I decided to make this video. So to tell you, let me just tell you a story. When I was little, I used to love music. I still love it, but when I was small, it was like my place to go to when I was happy, sad, angry. I would always go to music. And I remember that I had a game, but sorry, I just don't want to get emotional. So I had a game when I was small and when I was listening to a song, I would try to really find every instrument in the song. It was really fun for me to do that and it just calmed me down. And you know, I had forgotten that. You may know that two years ago I quit my job. We actually just moved to Berlin three years ago and many things were changing in my life. And since then I have been learning a lot in the process, but it has also been not the easiest process. So some days I felt really anxious, I was nervous, I was questioning myself. And yeah, I actually stopped listening to music. But anyways, going back to the CBD drops, um, two weeks after, or maybe 10 days, yeah, I think it was 10 days after I started taking these, um, I found myself, sorry, I don't wanna get emotional. I found myself in my room listening to music and just dancing to it and really finding the instruments. And it was just, at one moment, I was not even thinking about the drops, but I was just listening to the music and it brought me that feeling, sorry, it brought me that feeling when I was small. Sorry, I don't want to cry, but it was, it was really, really special for me. So yeah, at that moment I said, you know what, this, these drops are really cool. <laughs> and so yeah, I wanted to share with you guys my experience with them because in the first days, as I said, it was like by the 10th day that I really noticed the difference. Uh, so the, the, the days were longer and also I started to enjoy music again in a way that I hadn't for a long, long time. And, uh, <laughs> sorry. And, um, yeah, sorry. It has been a month already since I started with these drops. Now I'm doing 15%, so I started with 5%, but then the bottle was done and I was like, okay, let me try 15% and see. With 15% uh, CBD oil, you take just a smaller amount. So then I haven't changed the, the dose. I just get less drops. And I've been doing it for a month already. And I can tell you now it's a little bit different. It's like a constant state. It's not like, I, I get happier or whatever, no, but it's more like I feel more calm during the day and it's like a constant state of being, you know? Uh, the days feel longer, I feel more productive, I'm happier, generally I'm happier. This is my experience. Of course, I wanna say in this video, this is not a video to recommend that you take CBD. Uh, this is just to share my experience with you around cannabis, uh, what I've learned about this amazing plant that still we need to do research on. But yeah, I still think that is, that is an, a plant that is worth learning about. And to share my experience with you uh, with these drops and with cannabis, basically. This is my experience with cannabis until now. Uh, but yeah, I'm not recommending that you, that you use CBD oil. I would say that if you want to try it, just inform yourself, maybe speak to your doctor and yeah, get more information about it. But yeah, at least in my experience, it has been a very good experience so far. And to be honest, it brought me back to music and to that feeling. So that's why I wanted to share this with you. And I don't want to talk more about this because I'm going to cry. But yeah, this is exactly the reason why I really wanted to share my experience with cannabis and what I've learned. I'm looking forward to read more about it because yeah, I know that there is a lot of research to be done and many more things that we need to learn. But yeah, I'm looking forward to learning more about this plant. Um, yeah. <laughs> now, in case you wanna learn more about this one right here, the one that I'm trying, um, they have different products. It's not only CBD oil, they also have other products with CBD like gum and yeah, tablets, I think, and creams and many different things with CBD. If you wanna learn more about them, I will leave the, the, script, the link in the description down below so you can just go to their website and read more about them and inform yourself. And I hope that this video was useful, at least entertaining. 
I hope that we connected a little bit more through this. Um, I was a little nervous because I know there is a stigma around cannabis, but then I decided to make it because of the experience that I had. I really wanted to share with you guys and yeah, please let me know down below what do you think about this video and if you have any experience, I would love to know. And as always, I will see you in the next one. And yeah, have a great week. Ciao. <laughs>